blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Do not deprive me, O Lord, of your fatherly compassion. I boldly presume on your loving care. I did renounce your fatherhood, and I denied my sonship. O Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am not worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. Adore me, O Lord, with great fear of you. And turn me from wantonness to righteousness, from filthiness to purity, and from idleness to watchfulness, so that I may walk steadfastly and patiently along your straight paths. Stop me, O Lord, from my evil thoughts and from doing the will of my mind and my flesh. Paint before my eyes the terrible day of your coming, that I may tremble and quake before your judgments. Light, O Lord, a lamp for my soul, just like those of the wise virgins. Grant that I be prepared to go forth with great watchfulness to meet you, O heavenly bridegroom, and not remain outside like the foolish virgins. Make known to me, O Lord, your paths, and teach me your just ways. Keep, O Lord, my flesh far away from evil thoughts, and strengthen me in good and fearful thoughts, that I may always stand before you holy and without reproach. Wipe away my impious deeds, O Lord, and fasten my mind onto the hope of good deeds and the fear of you that filled with love and with unshakable faith, I may await and look to your great coming. Strengthen me, O Lord, in the love of your commandments, that I may obey your statutes in fear, quake and tremble at your judgments, pursue justice and uprightness before your face, and receive the gifts of your grace. Release me, O Lord, from the bonds of my sins, rejuvenate me once more, for I am worn out by sin. Bestow your light upon me, who am darkened by the desires of my flesh, that I may walk upon the paths of peace, and that my eyes may see your salvation, which you have prepared for your holy ones. Heal, O Lord, my incurable infirmities, for I lie crippled upon the bed of my sins and I frequently stand at the gate of a second Siloam, waiting and looking for your great coming. Amen. 
Vornius ancam caloces, haireni paroc, Shnorelo astva zabe sarution diezerats, Amenaina raradzots, avide nits ornutiam ireshtagats ortnyales de O merciful Father and God of consolation, who comforts us in all our troubles. Hear now the plea of your servants and accept our supplications. Make us worthy to glorify you with thankfulness, along with your Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Listen in reverence to the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Again, he said to them, I am going away and you will search for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. Then the Jews said, is he going to kill himself? Is that why he, what he means by saying, where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins for you will die in your sins unless you believe that I, he, they said to him, who are you? Said to them, why do I speak to you at all? I have much to say about you and much to condemn, but the one who sent me is true. And I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand speaking to them about the father. So Jesus said, when you have lifted up the son of man, then you will realize that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. And the one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what is pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. In faith I confess and bow down to you, Father and the Son and Holy Spirit, uncreated and immortal nature, creator of angel, of man, and of all things. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. In faith I confess and bow down to you, O light invisible, co-substantial Holy Trinity and one Godhead, creator of light and dispeller of darkness. Lift from my soul the darkness of sin and ignorance and illuminate my mind at this hour so that I may pray to you according to your pleasure and receive from you the answer to my prayers. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Heavenly Father, true God, who sent your beloved son in search of the sheep that had gone astray, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Receive me as the prodigal son and clothe me with the original garment of which I was divested by sin. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Son of God, true God, who descended from the bosom of the Father and took flesh of the Holy Virgin Mary for our salvation, who was crucified buried and arose from the dead and ascended with glory to the Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Remember me as a thief when you come with your kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Spirit of God, true God, who descended into the river Jordan and the upper room and enlightened me through the baptism of the Holy Font. I have sinned against heaven and before you. Purify me again with your divine fire as you purify the holy apostles with fiery tongues. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. 
Uncreated nature, I have sinned against you and my thoughts with my soul and body. Remember not my previous sins for the sake of your holy name. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Seer of all, I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Erase the record of my transgressions and write my name in the book of life. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Searcher of secrets, I have sinned against you willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. Grant forgiveness to me, a sinner, for since my birth at the holy font until this day, I have sinned before your Godhead with my senses and with all the members of my body. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. All caring Lord, place your holy fear before my eyes as a shield that they may no longer gaze with lust before my ears that they may not enjoy hearing words of evil before my mouth that it may utter no falsehood before my heart that it may think of no evil before my hands that they may do no injustice and before my feet that they may not walk on the paths of iniquity but so direct their movements that they may at all times be according to your commandments in all things. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, living fire, inflame my soul with the fire of your love, which you sent forth upon the earth, that it may consume the impurities of my soul, cleanse my conscience, purge the sins of my body, and kindle in my heart the light of your knowledge. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Jesus, wisdom of the Father, grant me wisdom that I may at all times think, speak, and do before you what which, that which is good in your sight, and save me from evil thoughts, words, and deeds. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Willer of good, O Lord, fulfiller of your will, let me not pursue my own inclinations, but guide me so that I may at all times live according to your good will. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Heavenly King, grant me your kingdom, which you promised your beloved, and strengthen my heart to hate sin and to love you only and to do your will. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Protector of all creatures, by the sign of your cross, keep my soul and body from the allurements of sin, from the temptations of evil spirits, from unjust men, and from the perils of soul and body. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, guardian of all creatures, let your right hand be a shadow over me day and night, tarrying at home and traveling, sleeping and rising, that I may never fail. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Oh my God, generously satiate all creatures with your mercy. To you I commit myself. Take care of and provide for the needs of my body and soul from this time forth and forevermore. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. You who bring back those who have gone astray, turn me away from my evil habits to good habits and imprint upon my soul the dreadful day of death the fear of hell, and the love of the kingdom, so that I may repent from my sins and do righteousness. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Fountain of immortality, make tears of penitence flow from my heart like the tears of the adulteress, so that I may wash away my sins before departing from this world. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Bestow of mercy, grant that I may come to you in faith and with good works, 
and by the communion of your holy body and blood. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Beneficent Lord, commit me to the good angel so that I may in gentleness give up my soul and pass unperturbed through the evil spirits that roam this earth. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Christ, true light, make my soul worthy to behold with joy the light of your glory, the day when you will call on us, and to rest in the hope of good things in the abode of the just until the day of your glorious coming. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Righteous judge, when you come with the glory of the Father to judge the living and the dead, Enter not into judgment with your servant, but deliver me from the eternal fire and make me hear the blissful calling of the just to your heavenly kingdom. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, the great sinner that I am. All merciful Lord, have mercy upon all those who believe in you, on those who are mine and those who are strangers and those I know, and those I know not, on the living and on the dead, and also grant my enemies and those who hate me forgiveness for the transgressions committed against me, and turn them away from the malice they bear toward me, so that they may be worthy of your mercy. Have mercy upon your creatures and upon me, great sinner that I am. Glorious Lord, accept the supplications of your servant and fulfill them towards that which is good. Through the intercession of the Holy Mother of God, John the Baptist, and St. Stephen the Proto-Martyr, and St. Gregory our Illuminator, and the Holy Apostles, the Prophets, the Teachers, the Martyrs, the Patriarchs, the Hermits, the Virgins, the Monks, and of all your Saints in heaven and on earth, and glory and worship be to you, O indivisible Holy Trinity, forever and ever. Amen. De Yes, 
faithful Christ our God we commit ourselves unto your care keep unshaken the holy apostolic church of the Armenians and ignite in the hearts of the faithful the light and love of your divine knowledge regale the rulers of this world with your wisdom that they lead the world in peace strengthen the republics of the United States Armenia and Artsakh and their armed forces and keep firm the united will of the Armenian people. Bless all your faithful people with the almighty power of your holy cross. Save and free them from all types of visible and invisible enemies and calamities, and especially from the threat of the novel coronavirus. Make the soul of our martyrs worthy of your heavenly kingdom and console their families with your Holy Spirit. Liberate the prisoners from their bonds and safely return refugees to their homes. Grant physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual healing to the injured and traumatized and make us worthy to glorify with thanksgiving the whole Holy Trinity, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen.